Okay, in this simulation tutorial, I will explain that how we can measure the voltage and the current within the tinker kit. For it, we can see on our right hand side that uh, there are two things. One is the power supply. So we need to drag it out like this. And the second one is the multimeter. So multimeter has two terminals that is the negative and the positive one. And power supply also has two terminals positive and the negative. So we need to connect negative terminal with the negative terminal and positive with the positive terminal. Okay, now we can arrange the wires so that they will look some bit good. Okay, you can see like it and then this. <coughs> okay, now uh, we can uh, start our simulation. Okay. And here we can change the voltage from the knob of the power supply that is the voltage knob as we use to rotate the knob we can see that the voltages are going above and above so like this okay, like this okay so okay so this one is the as there isn't any sort of load with that of supply so usually the current will be zero so the best thing is to take one like bulb okay we need to take the bulb It's uh, one terminal must be connected with the positive terminal of the battery like this. Okay, like this. And the other with the negative. Okay, now we have connected it out. So this is like that. Okay, like this one. Okay. And next the next will be connected with that of uh, what we can say okay we, we we are going to delete this thing out okay so okay so we we also have to put load there and we will put multimeter in series with that of load so we will connect terminal 2 with the positive and of the multimeter now the meter is in series with the load and load is actually the bulb so okay now now you can see that all the things are in a line means that the the, the current used to start from this uh, terminal that is red and then go like this this and then it will go inside the bulb and then from filament it comes down and will go to the multimeter and then within the multimeter it will go to the negative end of the supply so with this we can okay so okay now we will start our simulation so we, we also need to convert it to the amperage or ampere meter we also need to reduce the voltages okay now you can see that whenever we make some bit rise in voltage some more current will be flow through the through this load or bulb so now we are going to increase the voltage and the bulb is uh, giving us more and more light and and i think it is 12 volts so if we cross the threshold uh, the bulb is going to be destroyed so maximum current is 250 milliampere that is drawn from this load so
so here you can use uh, with this method we can measure the voltage and current across any load so yeah one thing more that uh, you can take another meter you need to take another meter and connect its negative terminal with negative of the bulb and positive with the positive of the bulb because we know one thing that uh, voltage must be calculated by placing the meter in parallel with the load while while the ampere meter or current meter must be in series uh, with the load just like you can see that we have placed this meter this multimeter in parallel with the load and this ampere meter in the series okay now we will start simulation okay i think that we have connected it wrong yeah yeah we we have connected it like that okay so we need to connect it like that okay hopefully now it will give us some voltage okay now here it is 12 volt and 250 milliampere no no we are going to decrease the voltage and now is the voltage is going down the current also used to decrease here you can see that when we are going to increase the voltage the current and voltage both are going to increase so hopefully you got the concept regarding how to measure the current and voltage inside the tinkercad so thanks for watching